हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टू कंटिन्यू विद अब चैप्टर ऑफ सॉलिड स्टेट वी विल स्टडी इन दिस लेक्चर अबाउट क्रिस्टल लेटिस इट्स टाइप्स एंड ऑल अबाउट थ्योरी एंड सम ऑफ द नोमेरिकल्स सो आई विल रिक्वेस्ट यू टू सी द वीडियो टिल द एंड ऑफ द वीडियो सो दैट यू डोंट मिस एनी थिंग इम्पोर्टेंट एंड बिफोर आई स्टार्ट I will request you to please subscribe my channel. Now we start our lecture with crystal lattice. See, in crystalline solids, there is repetition of pattern of constituent particles. And what is crystal lattice? The arrangement. depicted the arrangement of particles in a crystal three dimensional arrangement of the particles constituent particles in a crystal is called crystal lattice unit cell what is unit cell this is the smallest smallest portion of the crystal lattice which is repeated in different directions repeated in different directions to generate the entire crystal lattice this is the smallest part of the crystal lattice smallest unit of the crystal lattice which when repeated in different direction they create they generate the whole crystal lattice see in a crystal mm -hmm. unit cell we have three edges see this is the example of a simple cubic form of crystal lattice crystal unit cell unit cell of crystal lattice this is the small simplest form cubic this is the simplest sketch this is the unit cell and in this unit cell we have three edges three edges one is called a represented by a other is b and the third is c these are the three edges of a unit cell and there are three angles between these three edges between a b c between a and b the angle is called beta and between b sorry between a and b a and b the angle is gamma this is gamma this is beta and between b and c this is alpha so between a and b the angle is gamma between b and c the angle is alpha and between a and c the angle is beta these are the three angles on angles between the edges b and c it is alpha and between a and c it is beta and between a and c beta and b and c a and b gamma so these are the three angles between the three edges now units cells 
are divided on the basis of two categories one is primitive and the other is centered unit cells primitive cells are unit cells are those in which the constituent particles constituent particles they are present on corners of a unit cell they are present at the corners of the of a unit cell and see if we take this as a unit cell then what are the corners these are the corners of the unit cell so there are eight corners so they are called primitive unit cell the constituent particles are present at the eight corners now centered unit cell what about centered unit cells and at in case of centered unit cells one is body centered in body centered the constituent particles are present at corners plus one constituent particles is present at the center of the body center of the body this is called body centered and other is face centered now first i will show that how the body centered is formed see eight body centered in body centered eight constituent particles are present at the corners and one is present at the center of the body so this is called body centered and what about face centered face centered in face centered a unit cell it contains one constituent particles present at the center of each face in corners there are eight particles plus one particle one particle on each face there are six faces so six particles so six constituent particles on all the faces and third is and centered unit cell in this unit type of unit cell corner cells are present plus constituent particle on any two opposite two opposite faces Faces. So this is end center unit cell. Now we come on to that there are seven types of primitive unit cells. One is cubic. One is cubic. Tetragonal. orthorhombic hexagonal rhombohedral six monoclinic and seven triclinic so these can be divided these can be classified on the basis of their length of their edges and the angle between the edges alpha beta and gamma now we will study one by one cubic means here this is cubic i take another pen for simplicity this is cubic here three edges are there a b c and 
here I have written PBF. What does it mean? PBF means that this type of primitive unit cell, cubic, is possible in all primitive, body centered, and face centered. This type of primitive unit cell. This is possible in all the three primitive, this is primitive, body centered, and face centered. And the second is tetragonal. Tetragonal is posi uh, possible in only primitive and body centered. PB. Primitive and body centered only. It is not possible in face centered. So, this is. A, B, and C. Now, if we see that in cubic, A is equal to B is equal to C. All the three edges are equal. And <laughs> alpha, the angle between these three edges, alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma is equal to 90 degree. This is the characteristic of cubic primitive unit cell. Now, if we see tetragonal, in tetragonal, A is equal to B, but they are not equal to C. C is different. C is of different length. And, but, all the angles are of 90 degree. This is tetragonal. Now, we come to orthorhombic primitive unit cell. Orthorhombic in the orthorhombic, this is, if we see that what is the structure, then we can draw a structure like this. Here, edges are A, B, and C. And in orthorhombic, A is not equal to B, and they are not equal to C. All are different. The length of edges are different and alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma and they are also equal to 90 degree. This is case of orthorhombic. And now we come to hexagonal. This is a hexagon and if a three dimensional structure is drawn over a hexagon, then we get A, B, and C. This is gamma. This is between in hexagon, A is equal to B is not equal to C. A and B are equal, but they are not equal to C. Similarly, alpha is equal to beta is equal to 90, but gamma is not 90, gamma is 120. This angle is 120. The gamma angle gamma is 120, which is between A and B. This and this <coughs> between a and b the gamma angle is 120 degree so this is hexagonal primitive unit cell now we come to rhombohedral rhombohedral if we draw a three dimensional structure over the rhombus then we get rhombohedral structure and in this case this is also called trigonal. In this case, it is only possible in primitive. See, I have not explained this uh, uh, earlier. In orthorhombic, this is possible in all primitive, body-centered, face-centered, and end-centered unit cell. 
पी बी एफ ई इन इन हेक्सेगन हेक्सेगनल इट इज पॉसिबल ओनली प्राइमेटिव एंड रोम्बोहाइड्रल इट इज पॉसिबल ओनली प्राइमेटिव एंड इन दिस केस ए इज इक्वल टू बी इज इक्वल टू सी एंड एल्फा इज इक्वल टू बीटा इज इक्वल टू गामा बट नन इज इक्वल टू नाइन्टी डिग्री दे आर नॉट इक्वल टू नाइन्टी डिग्री दे आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम नाइन्टी डिग्री एंड नाउ वी कम टू द सिक्स प्राइमेटिव यूनिट सेल दैट इज कॉल्ड मोनोक्लिनिक एंड इन मोनोक्लिनिक द स्ट्रक्चर इज लाइक दिस ए दिस इज बी दिस इज सी एल्फा गामा एंड दिस इज बीटा मोनोक्लिनिक A is not equal to B is not equal to C. All the three are different, and angles are not equal, and this is monoclinic. I separate this by one line so that it can be distinguished. This is monoclinic. okay now we come to the seventh primitive unit cell that is triclinic this is triclinic alpha gamma and beta a b and c in triclinic this is possible only in primitive and it was uh, uh, monoclinic was possible in primitive and end centered and triclinic is possible only in primitive unit cells and in triclinic a is not equal to b is not equal to c and also alpha is not equal to beta is not equal to gamma and is not equal to 90 degree 